I am the northwest corner of Independence, and I would ar arguably say that I have the oldest part of the uh, city of Independence. Well, what that means is that we have some of the most unique history in Independence that goes back to, to the pioneer age, to the founding of Independence, to the history of, of Western expansion. Um, so we have a lot of unique history here in the western side of Independence. Some of the unique neighborhoods are in some of the oldest parts of the neighborhood is here on Independence Square. We have the McCoy home, who was one of the first uh, mayors of Independence. We have homes in the Inglewood uh, Arts District that are 100 years plus, and uh, we also have some unique home structures in Fairmont that goes back all the way to the early 1890s. One of the focuses I wanted to do after I first became elected was what can we do to help revitalize, jumpstart some of the enthusiasm there in, in Inglewood? It's one of their primary events is the third Fridays that they do, third Fridays Art Walk, where the vendors open up and the shops open up and display their art and their different wares and stuff. So we're working now with the CID, it's a community improvement district, and what that will allow us to do is to be able to collect funds to help uh, promote um, beautification and different needs of, of that part of uh, Inglewood. How do we look at the connectivity of Independence Square to Inglewood? How do we revitalize some of the, the housing stock that we have surrounding Inglewood? It's some of the older housing, housing stocks in Independence that go back to 100 years. How do we turn those different neighborhoods into prosperous, vibrant neighborhoods? And also, how do we connect with the Independence Square? We're having meetings already set up to discuss some of the basic information, some of the stakeholders out there, how we can start moving Fairmont forward in their section of the plan.